Hi, this is Keith from PharmacyTechStudy.com and this video is about a question that was asked on our Facebook page and the person who asked it is concerned about wanting to know when it's best to use an allegation versus when it's better to use a C1V1 equals C2V2 in a dilution math question. And so she also gives us a sample question to work with. And so um, let's go ahead and look at the question and, and we'll figure out which is the best way to work it. So it says a patient requires an IV infusion of, and I'm going to write these down as we go. Okay, so what we need, it says a 0.9% of NaCl, which is uh, sodium chloride. In the hospital pharmacy department, you have water for injection and, which is sterile water, and 4.5%. Okay, so what we have is 4.5% to work with. Assuming no volume displacement effect, how much of the 4.5% solution would you need to add to a bag of the sterile water to produce the 0.9%? Okay, so we also have a bag with 100 milliliters of water. Okay, so the answer to her question about which one you could do it's, it's actually, you could do either one. You could do an allegation or a C1V1 equals C2V2. So let's start with an allegation. Um, and so we'll draw our tic-tac-toe grid. All right, so we have 4.5, and what we want is 0 0.9, and also we have water, which is 0. So working this way, we get 0 0.9. Working this way, we get 3.6. All right, and so uh, from here, what you need to figure out is if you can boil these numbers down, reduce them anymore. And what I see is both of these numbers, the decimal is in the, um, in the tenths. Uh, place and so we could as long as we do one thing to one number we could do it to the other right so I'm going to move that over here on each and so that's going to give me some just regular integers to work with so what I've got is nine parts and 36 parts all right still follow me so if we took nine parts of the four and a half percent and 36 parts of the zero and put it all together that would give us a solution of 0.9 percent but to make things even easier, I'm going to want to reduce these numbers even more so I can see that they're both divisible by 9. So if we divide this by 9, we get 1, and this by 9, we get 4. So what this tells me is that it's a 1 to 4 ratio. And so since I already know that I have 100 milliliters of the water, I can assign that uh, to this number here, move the whiteboard over. So 100 milliliters. Okay. So if four parts equals 100 milliliters, then I know that one part would have to equal 25 milliliters, right? Because one of four, um, 100 divided by four equals 25, and so one of those parts would be the one over here would be equal to one fourth of these four parts, right? Okay, so that's how I would use allegation. So this would be the answer right here, right? 25 milliliters of the 4.5 percent. Now the only reason that this allegation worked out so nicely is because these numbers right here, these decimals, could be moved around very conveniently um, and then convert to such an easy ratio. It's not always like that. In fact, it's rare, rarely like that. And so, usually I would jump into C1V1 equals C2V2. 
Okay, so what that would look like is this. Uh, we have 100 milliliters of zero, oops, <laughs> of zero percent. Plus, we have an unknown amount that we're going to add to it, uh, four, 4.5, which is 0 0.0, 0.045. Okay, and then we need it to equal 0 0.009. Okay, and then the volume of our completed desired uh, volume of our new solution is going to be at least 100 milliliters plus the unknown amount that we put in. Okay, so let's go ahead and work out all the math. So 100 times 0 is 0, so we're not going to write anything down here. And then x times 0 0.045 is 0 0.045x. Put our equal sign again. And then we'll go ahead and distribute. We have uh, point, uh, 0 0.009 times 100 is, what is that? That would be, I should calculate this ahead of time. I think it's 0.9. And then plus 0 0.009x. Okay, so from here, we need to get this x over here with this x so that we have all the x's on one side of the equation. So we're going to subtract 0 0.009x. Okay, so over on this side, this just cancels. So what we've got is, uh, that'd be 0 0.036x equals... 0 0.9. You should be writing these zeros in front of your decimals. Just keep everything nice and straight. Okay, so to isolate this x, we divide it by 0 0.036, and that cancels it. 6. And then if you divide 0 0.9 by 0 0.036, what you get is 25, which is 25 milliliters in this case because up here, it was representing uh, volume numbers, volume of uh, fluid of uh, this 4.5% concentration. So that's the way you would do it with C1V1 equals C2V2. So as you can see, we, we came up with the same answers uh, for both using two different systems of math. And so... I would say use whichever one that you like to man maneuver with better, uh, but I do caution that with the allegation method, it worked out nicely in this problem because the numbers worked out so nice uh, and we could, we could make the ratio uh, so easy. But when you have uh, decimals in your ratio, it make, makes things a little more complicated. So that's my take on this question and I hope it can help you determine which way you want to go in studying uh, dilution math.